Welcome friends, Last Garfield, and it's time for Erratus, Lord of the Dead, given us by developer. This game is Life. by Unfrozen, published Life by Daedalic. $25 early access game. Ago, Just want to share this opener. Necromancer was on the verge of conquering the world. But you know what they say about best laid plans. Inevitably, heroes shall emerge. So, I was made dead. Again. But what does death really mean for somebody who has mastered it? Hmm? Boredom. An eternity to ponder my errors. And how close I came to victory. I am a mortal. But when this world ends, even I will know. And so, I ask myself, will I be given another chance to rise before it happens? Another chance to fulfill my ambition? It seems that fate has smiled after all. Bam! All right, so Radis, Lord of the Dead. Like I said, $25 game in early access, but the game's going to release in April or June of 2020, so it's almost out anyway. So it's nearly complete. There's a couple things that aren't released yet. And I like the game. We're doing a one-shot here. I didn't mention that before. This is the one-shot. And I'm going to recommend this game and show you why I recommend this game. And it's going to be for some people and not for others. This is basically Darkest Dungeons kind of game. So that's what we're going to do here. Erratus. So I really like the voice of the main dude. It's a pretty good voice. Let's go in here. So I'm 15 battles into this game. So it's got some roguish-like elements to it. Also being... Darkest Dungeons. You'll see in a second. So it's a game that's meant to be played multiple times. And here we are. So we are Erratus. And uh, this is all our stuff. These are my minions. So I should probably show combat and then I'll show you what all this stuff is. So we'll do a combat first. So going to the dungeon. So I like this game and whoa, they really put the brightness up. It did look pretty bright. The hell? They must have done up and put the brightness up. Should not be this bright. Where's the bright? Darken it a little because woof, that's bright. Okay, so we're just gonna go into a battle right now. I'm in the second dungeon. First dungeon was mines with humans, now I'm in a dwarven tunnels. And so, let me pick my battle squad and let's go ahead and do this quest. Doors are curious a lot when it comes to alchemy. It all began with their desire to distill better and stronger alcohol and has now evolved into a new and advanced form of warfare pioneered by the alchemist guild. Your spies have managed to discover a band of alchemists brewing acids in large vats that they plan to use against you. And now that you know this, the only thing left to do is disrupt their operations before they get the chance. Travel to the field laboratory and ambush alchemists. Yep! We're gonna do combat. Now I got my squad. So here is, so you can see, Darkest Dungeon's style of combat. There's your side, there's their side. And we're more like we're the monsters this time, because there's a sanity meter for these guys. So we can affect their sanity. So here's the thing. When it comes to sanity stuff, it's one of the flaws of the game is it requires you to know what Darkest Dungeons is, pretty much for this part. Because your enemies can go insane or they can get inspired, and they don't explain that concept at all. They just assume you know it from Darkest Dungeons, pr pretty much. But here's my characters. Every round, like a full round, I can do a spell. And that's the thing, character movement is a spell, so that's a problem. And let's see here. So the way I do it is I'm going to put up these bombs and they'll explode in two rounds. These guys get wrecked from it. Have a little tingle up your spine. So I cast that spell there. It's from my mana here. I'm going to have my guy do some things. So this is my tank in the front. And I'm going to have him build up more mana for later. So he's going to go ahead and do this. And he builds me wrath, which is going to be important as well. So each unit has special things about them. The skeleton can't be buffed or debuffed. That's the thing right there. He's immune to all buffs and debuffs. 
Uh, while this guy cannot be critically hit the Dark Knight, then I got a mummy over here. And each enemy that successfully attacks normally loses luck. That's cool. It stacks as well. He's also got some shielding. And then we got this bride, and she is plus 10 luck against female enemies, because she is jealous. There's no females, though, so it doesn't work out for her. They all have different attacks. You don't have to unlock anything. They have six things. just depends on their placement. I'm going to have him just do some swings here. I'm going to have him swing on this alchemist, because I'm worried about fighting this guy. So take him out. Work on it, at least. Now, this mummy's a new unit I haven't used before, so i got to try him out. So he has stress attacks. So I can do a bunch of stress to my opponents. We're going to have him absorb curses so he can heal. Guess all these wrappings deals that much damage. Target loses luck. I can also do this powerful horror. So I want to do... And he's standing behind it. Okay, we'll do this. We'll mess with some sanity here. Let's go ahead and get these two. Sanity. There we go. And then there's her attacks. She has a bunch of, there's like stances in this game that would be useful with that. Um, she's on Overwatch if they move. You can have her just hit an opponent. So let's just hit these guys in the front. Work down this alchemist. And now they're all going to attack. And they're attacking. Oh, these guys got stances. Alright, they're buffing. Uh-oh. He gave him a shield. I gotta break that shield before my mind goes off, because that mind goes off and can do anything. I can go ahead and do another one to this guy. So here's the thing that I like is that they designed is their abilities are kind of cyclical. You can do a bunch of things, do other things. So he has this ability that pushes him back as you buff stuff. He also has this ability to push him forward. But we're gonna do that. So BAM! Hits them, and he's back in the front. He also has moves and moves her back because she's more of a backline fighter kind of thing. Now with Wrath, you got your ultimate attack. And her ultimate attack is everyone gets hit. And she's going to crit. So this should do a lot of damage. Is that what I want to do, though, is the question. And maybe not necessarily. I'm going to use her you, uh, you, won't get, you Won't Get Him, which is used to interrupt stances. These guys have these buff stances. Wait, no, those are buff stances. <laughs> that won't do anything. Uh, I can also buff up her attack with this. Also gains mana for my Wrath as spells. I'm gonna do Lung Piercer again, and work on this guy some more. Kill them, whittle them down. What I might do next time is do Vampire. So Vampire, it makes them lose luck, and, and if they run away, I get a Vampire out of it. Now here's this guy's attack. Mass Stress Attack right here. Is that what I want to do? Yeah, I'll do it. Very stressful coming up. Whoop. Bunch of stress there. I got the mummy here. I'm gonna do more stress. I'm gonna work these guys all down. Get them crazy. There, he's insane now. And he has a 75% chance, 75 chance of betraying his teammates. So I'm gonna leave him alone now and work on the other guys. Ah! Okay, now that he's hurt, I'm gonna want to use some attacks with uh, his special. Uh, the mine went off. Let's go ahead and use another one. Have a little tingle up your spine. Okay, let's see here. So, do I want to do a sanity attack? Let's do a sanity attack. This guy's almost there. Kill, my darling, kill. There we go. That guy got affected by it. Now he's unlucky from his insanity. And here's why I like this guy in the front. Because when I have enough wrath, he's going to heal off everyone. And my tank is full. Love that. That's why I always have him buff up wrath. So he can get that going. Work on this guy. Oh, he had a shield. This guy's good for getting rid of shields. And let's keep getting the fear up, shall we? Extinction of life. Oh, nice! Full insanity! Okay, so that guy's gonna exert himself. Let's see the other guy. Oof. That hit hard. And he's dead from the... From just all different things we did to him. Ooh! I mean the debuffs there. Oh, he put his... He's probably not... No, he's still insane. The mine went off, killed that guy. There goes the betrayal from that guy. And we're working them down. Now I'm going to go ahead and... We'll put Vampire in this guy. We can see if we can make this guy run away. Crimson hunger. Now another thing we can do is... Uh, make them run away. Which is not an easy thing to do. Oh no, that's almost over. Sandy! Once they hit zero in Sandy, if you keep doing the Sandy attacks, they have a chance to have a heart, have a heart attack and dying. So there's so many different things you can do. I'm going to light this guy on fire. Burn! Here, so this is the tanky move here. I'm gonna have him do 
It doesn't feel as effective to use these specials when there's only two guys. We're just gonna keep beating this one down on the front. There we go. Slash, chomp, crush. So powerful horror. He's just gonna be moving up on him. There we go. Guy's getting wrecked from the fire. So we got a pretty good fight going on here. See if we can cause a heart attack in this guy, actually. Because this guy's gonna die to physical. Bad through! Ooh. Now, there are some units that you don't see here that have to do some, um, I'll mention what they do. There's like a Banshee unit. She's only stress attacks. And those stress attacks can get ridiculous, but what she can also do with her stress attacks is she can also devour the opponent's insanity and it will heal the team or you can get a, sh a ton of mana from it. Keep going on this guy's sanity. Nice. He's almost fully insane. This guy's gonna die to the flames, don't have to worry about him anymore. Ooh, he's doing damage though. Now at this point I just need to build up mana for the next fight, because this mana goes across the fights, so I'm just building up mana. Have her build up mana as well. There we go. And this guy's in the back, so let's get him back to the front! Shield Bash! Bam! That guy's gonna die to the flames. So, let's cause a heart attack. Stop. Okay. So we're gonna do nothing but stress attacks on this guy now. Ooh. I can't do a stress attack from here. Let's regain mana then. Just thinking of the long game at this moment. And... Where is it? Strikes back, uh, dealing system. So that's only if he gets hit. There we go. Dense. Here's her stress attack. How's heart attack? Heart attack, he's dead. Done. A and then when you're done, you get all these things, and you get body parts and other things like that. You got XP for the team as well, and for Erratus. Everything gets XP. The guards are defeated, and only the vats of acid are left amongst a carpet of dead war dwarves. The bodies will be put to use is the easy part, but now what is best to use the acid itself? Distillation agent. This will get me a lot of bone. Or I can enemies start the next bat three battles with no armor. Ooh, that sounds good. Let's do that. That'll make fights ridiculous. Hmm. Yeah, do that. I'll be getting plenty of bones in the future anyway. Oop. Your means have discovered a nearby armor storage. It is far too well guarded for your force to assault directly, but with, well, with some effort, a tiny breach can be made into the chamber without risking of detection. Then it, it is only a matter of fumbling the acid inside to dissolve the dwarven protection, along with their hopes. There we go. So, pop out of here a second. Let me show you all these things. So, there's the graveyard. So out here in the graveyard... Oh, I gotta go here anyway. So I gotta... Oh yeah, we did an event. We didn't do a combat. So let me just switch some things here. Look. Gotta switch that with that. And he'll have to heal from combat. Alright, gonna have to risk it. Use this one. Forgot they don't heal from special things, they heal from combat. So right now, woo, they gotta fight like this. So here's a mortuary where I can heal up units. After each fight they'll heal up. Yeah, exception is quest battles. Oops. And you need these bones, uh, no, no, bones, architect souls, and a specific unit to get the next level to it. So I would need this guy and 60 souls to upgrade this place to the next one. That's how these all work, is you need specific unit and souls to build or upgrade them. So there's Mortuary for healing. I've got this statue for mana, so every round I get mana. Not round, but a battle. Excavation, so they're getting me more parts. What's happening here? The Dead Lake's getting me more artifacts, on occasion. Got the Abode of Wrath, which is giving me more wrath before each battle, which is useful. Then I've got this Obelisk, which is giving me more souls. And then I've got the library, which is giving me more XP. You can see I just, I'm building units and putting them in here. So I'll show you that now. So use creation. So when we're fighting, we'll be getting parts. And we can use these parts, parts to make things. And if they're bright, that means I can make them. If they're dark, then I can't make them at the moment. And if they're locked, well, I gotta do stuff to earn them. I gotta kill one more boss for this unit. I gotta make some more insanity for that. I need some vampires for that one. I need to do more ultimate. Uh, wrath, use Wrath more. More debuffs. 
More bones. That one I don't know how to do that one because I have to find vampires. This one is deal damage to your minions. I don't know what I, what I do to do that because I haven't had that happen yet. Unfrozen is beat the game and then also beat the game. These are interesting units. I've seen the pictures of them. This one looks crazy, the Black Widow. Here's a different unit. So I got Skeleton, Zombie, Bride of Heratus, Wraith, Banshee, Dark Knight, Mummy, and Lich. I've made all these guys. You can just hit Fill. It'll give you the strongest version of the things. Or I can just go ahead and put a weaker... Do I only have one skull? No, no, I can't. I can do that, and I would make a Lich. That's this unit right here. This is the Lich. Zombie... Bright Rattus, Dark Knight, Skeleton, Mummy. You've seen a bunch of these already. Ooh. I want to go double zombie here just to be safe because this guy's hurt. I'll go double zombie just to be safe. This is going to be my team. Hmm. And then there's brains. So XP for brains. Or you can just implant a brain to level them up quicker. Since he's level 2 and I'm fighting stronger stuff, make him level 3. No brains. There we go. And whenever they level up, you can upgrade a thing. So I can just choose what kind of upgrade though. So you can see right here, let's go with this one. Igniting mixture. So no no no. Falling? Buckshot. 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 Volley. Volley. Buckshot. No, buckshot would be with the better one though. I'm gonna find the one that's good to show that shows an interesting difference between it. I don't remember the one that's really cool to show. Uh here it is. Okay. Some bombardment. So I can have it that uh, his attacks hit harder. Or I can make it that his attacks are magical. That's what this one is. This one's just saying one where he loads up for one turn and at the start of the next turn he hits a bunch of just random targets. So that's the difference is phys stronger physical or now it's magic. Because then depending on what you're fighting could be more useful. So I'm going to probably put up his buckshot. So this one is it ignores armor or it just does it hits the entire party. And you can see the damage difference there. Like this one it ignores armor and only hits two targets or it it doesn't ignore armor, but it hits everyone and for a little bit stronger. I like that one to so go with that one. Results. And this other guy leveled. Apparently I went the other way with this one. Gonna go ahead and give him... Here, ignores wards. Ignores resistance. Rather than that, the wards. Wards go away quick. You can also name your units. So I can name my zombies different things. So that's cool. I've unlocked the ability to put in better parts. So if I want, I can give this guy a stronger liver, which gives him more luck. And also make better things. So Aratus has different talents. And one of the talents is this one, which lets me just transplant better parts in my units, which is what I wanted. Oh, he leveled up, so now I can get this. 50% chance of getting a brain at the end of battle so that I can just have higher level stuff sooner. You got alchemy, magic, ire, or ear, however you want to pronounce it, and then destruction. All these different spells you can have. There's some passives. Like, alchemy is mostly passives. Like, I can just gain more parts after a battle. Like, this one, I gain more brains. All this one is each time you want to encounter enemies that participate to receive an additional experience. That'd be good to have. Then you've got artifacts. These are different things I found, which is a lot of things. This armor, your spike carapace. After killing an enemy with a critical hit, a minion gains one XP. There's all these different items I have. A bunch of different things. Some are temporary, some can be used more. This one is all enemies lose things until end of battle, which is nice. But there's all these different things I can use. A lot of one-time use things. Different items here. Put this armor on. Now Hell yeah. I will make mortals tremble before me. Well, even more than previously. I like the voice. I really like Eratus himself. He's a fun character to me. Here is Alchemy. So here I can just distill these things into just better versions. So since I have so many weapons, I can make stronger weapons. Let's see here. Let's make better blood. Fill it. There you go. And better weapon. There you go. Now what else do I have too much of? Let's deal with just those two for now. So now that I did that, I can go over to my units. Oh, he's already really upgraded. Out over here. Give him better weapon. So I can give the green right there. So now... With better weapon now, he got plus one to dread. This zombie's got some upgrade. This one doesn't have anything. I'll give this guy, I'll give him something. So I'll give him better blood, which gives him better evasion. You're showing that that's a thing you can do. Different upgrades from the things. 
And those are the abilities. Alright. At level 5, you can upgrade their wrath attack. Oh, yeah, there's a humanarium. So, this is all different enemies I fought. As you can see, there's a lot of enemies in this game. Well, the thing is, you don't. You have to fight them a bunch of times to. to it feels like random chance to unlock their information. Because we've killed a lot of dwarves and we don't have dwarf information. Forgot that part. Anything else to show up here? I guess I didn't create anything, so I can show that really quick. So just. Let's make a. Hmm, yeah, to make this more interesting, I should do this. Let's make a Bride of Aratus. There you go. Do I want to give her the best parts? Yeah, give her some of the good parts. Why not? And. Actually, go back. Let's make her stronger already. So get the blood. Fill that up. Bam. Ah, and then. The smell of successful alchemy. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're going to make her fully green. Bam! There we go. She's an uncommon warrior. So now I just have variety in my units. I mean, give her a brain. Click on her. Give her this brain. There we go. Now I got a level 3 fighter. Now, what do I want to do here? I want her to have stress attacks that break stances. I just prefer that. And then I want her to give mana. There we go. Oh, there's also equipment you can give, but you don't. I don't have that much equipment I've gotten. One of my units has it. Yeah, he does. So he has stronger physical attacks. Alright, let's go into one more fight to show off more of the game. And then that should be it. I've shown off most, like, all the concepts, really. Whoop. Just showing off another fight. I like this game a lot. I really enjoy... Ooh, that's a new one. Ooh, that's gonna take some time to get through. Good thing I got a skeleton to work a through him. Tingle up your spine. A key thing is I need to build up Wrath so this guy can heal, because he's hurt. Let's build it up. Pray. Think of what soul I have left. And so let's see here. Geomancer, you want to deal with him first. So let's get that out. Get that ward away. He's gonna work down the shields on this thing. Get rid of the blocks it has. That thing's gonna give me any trouble. Ooh, that's a lot of wrath gain. Nice. Yeah, when they get hurt, they build wrath for me. That's the thing I got. Oof. Wrath is built up, though. Just gonna let my guy heal. That thing's got a stance. Okay, so is he have a knockback attack? I'll only if he uses the special one. I need that wrath. Okay. So he's not gonna be able to heal yet, because he needs to be in second position or front position. So then I will just... Yeah, let's just do this. Hmm, no, that's gonna mess up. We had, we'll go ahead and do... Where is it? Buckshot. This will get rid of more shields. There we go. There will still be enough left to reanimate. Oh yeah, it ignores armor, right? Okay, so now I'm gonna have him put up a here. Have a little tingle up your spine. Now he's gonna go forward, and then next time I have him do his heal attack. Bam! There, got rid of that shield. These front guys don't have any more shields. We got plenty of wrath. You should be able to do this before you can go again. So let's hit everyone. Bam! Crits! Crits do affect sanity, just like Darkest Dungeon. Shock charges, build up for next attack. All right. And then I can do stress attack, but I'm gonna save that. Just keep working down this guy. I'm worried about what this thing can do. Also, he has guards to stress attacks. So once my Death Knight can work, he'll heal up for it to full. They just need to not kill him. That's why I go for the Geomancer. Oh no! Ooh, good thing he's about to heal though. Damn, my team got hurt. So we got to break that stance this time. Problem is, this attack was not is not going to break that stance. Have a little tingle up your spine. So I'm going to have a problem with that thing. I'm going to kill him somehow. I don't know how yet. Yep, not going to break his stance. Uh, he got frozen. Didn't notice. So I need to heal. So do that. There we go. That was important. This guy's got to get to the front. And bam! There we go back to the front. His turn got skipped. Luckily, it went for him. Oof! I'm gonna lose my zombie. I'm gonna definitely lose my zombie. This fight's not looking too nice. Ooh, 
no. Ooh, my party's gonna get wiped. Oh, this isn't good. Punched him back. That might help me. And I got stunned. Oh, this is not good. Put another bomb down. A little tingle up your spine. And we will... Oof. What's their turn? Okay. Okay, just... Just kill him. One less guy killing my team. Good. More materials. Ooh, I didn't think it would be this easy. Hey, work him down. I just need to have less enemies right now. I'm getting killed here. Hit them all. Oh no, just hit him back. He's dead. There we go. My team's in trouble, though. That Geomancer could kill any of them. Oh, that's not good. Buffs. It will take more than Dang death it. to stop my legions. I just made her, too. Okay, luckily there's enough wrath for him to heal, because I need it. Have a little tingle up your spine. Dang, I got wrecked this fight. Heal up. That big guy's the real scary part. Work him down some more. We have to. All we can do is these moves? Alright, do it! If he survives, he'll do some work with us. Ooh, this is not good! You end up replacing it. Got it? Ooh, he's still alive, he's still alive! Barely! Okay. Have a little tingle up your spine. Alright, so we need to just kill these guys somehow. Kill them! Alright, he had a shield. That's not good for me. Now he's going to attack. We should do some work. Except they missed. Ooh, that's not good. Ooh, my part is in trouble. This attack will not kill. It will hurt like hell, though. I need to find an attack that will kill. None of these are going to kill. They're just going to hurt. So... Mmm. 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 Make it count! There we go. He'll die soon. Shielded, that's not good for me. Oh, thank god that was a miss. One more for the stockpiles. One left. Put the bomb there. I need 60 wrath, can't do that. Okay. So just hit him. Hit him. Um, don't lose the whole party. Don't, don't, don't waste. Uh, 12 hits, not so good, but... Mm. Where's my burn attack? Here it is. Burn it! There we go. That'll do some damage over time, although I'm not worried. About... No, he's dead. Alright. Right? Suck him! That mine's gonna decide everything. <laughs> Healed? Oh crap. Thank you, mine! Yay! You also get some of their parts back, thankfully, but damn, I lost a lot of people there. I lost a bunch of party. I had that skeleton from the start of this game. Ouch, now I gotta make a new one. My poor party! Alright. And then at level 5, you can upgrade their ultimate. Of course, I would like him to suck a lot more vigor. So he can all enemies drown? Okay, so he does... One enemy loses 35, or I can have every enemy lose 15. Obviously, if there's a lot more enemies, that is 60. That's the thing to consider there. You want to have a target where you can just wreck one person really bad, or hurt a bunch of people for his ultimate. And of course, I want a lot of survivability. But damn! I did get some parts back, so I'll probably re build a new skeleton and everything. Like so, right here. I'm gonna build a new skeleton. And... Just do the bones right at the start. So let's see here. Bones, 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 bones. Build them. I'm gonna make a new skeleton. Won't be as good as the last one. There we go. Bones, bones, bones. Just so uninspired, you know. Give them that. Oh. He's a level 4 instead of a level 5, which is unfortunate. And give him that weapon. And then I'll just give him the abilities I had before. But dang! Losing my Jack Skellington. Oof. 
that's too bad right there. And that right there is the game. I recommend the heck out of this game. It's a pretty good game. I like it. I just, whew, lost my boys. Lost my boys. This should be interesting. And yeah, that's everything. Erratus, Lord of the Dead. Early access, but it's coming out of early access very soon. Recommend it. $25 game. And yeah, I'm having fun. So that is the game. I have fun. Hope you have fun watching. That's what's all about. Is it having fun? Thanks. Come by and see you next time. Thank you.